I, I want to be very, very cautious in, in revealing anything. But of course, uh, we understand that Sinwar and Hamas leadership are still hiding like cowards beneath ground, uh, still hiding like cowards behind the people of Gaza. They are still, still willing to sacrifice all of the Gaza Strip for to maintain their power. Um, our goal is to ma make sure that they don't have that power. They need to pay for the injustice, for the devastation, for the death that they have caused. Um, we are determined to hold them accountable for their uh, brutal actions of the 7th of October and the results of this, their poor decision and their failed decision uh, against, um, the, against the people of, of Israel, the attack that they committed. we have dismantled and destroyed 18 of Hamas's battalions. There are probably around four remaining in different locations in the Gaza Strip. Um, I think that we've depleted their capability to operate uh, in most of the areas around the Gaza Strip in an organized manner and in a military style manner. Of course, as we are dismantling and destroying and engaging and killing the terrorists on the battleground, then we are finding that they are less motivated to engage us. They are conducting a more guerrilla warfare type attack of, of sneak and sneaking up from behind like cowards and attacking our forces. Uh, of course, that requires that, that we need to be very, very alert in order to preempt those attacks. That is what we're doing. And I would say in, in almost all of the occasions, we are coming out with the upper hand. They are being defeated on the battleground. And as we move forward, we will continue to do so. We had uh, special forces from the Yamam um, police unit uh, combined with uh, the in Israel security agency, the Shin Bet uh, operational capabilities, all under the umbrella of the IDF that went into a, a residential area in Rafa, uh, conducted a uh, rescue operation. And indeed, um, in the early hours of this morning, we announced that we'd retrieved and rescued Luis Har who is uh, 70 years old, and Fernando Marman, who is 61 years old. Um, the reports that, I, that we've received, um, the initial uh, um, surveillance of, of their health situation was uh, relatively good. We evacuated them to by helicopter to hospital, uh, to the Tel Shomer Sheba Hospital, just outside of Tel Aviv. And they're undergoing a further examination. Uh, but 
it's looking promising this morning. I think it's a good news, a good way to start the day after four months of war um, you know, and lots of heartbreak. Uh, but we need to remember that there are still 134 Israelis being held captive by Hamas. Uh, their circumstances, their condition, uh, un unknown, unsure. Um, and we need to bring every one of them home, every last one of them. We need to operate wherever Hamas is hiding. We need to operate wherever Hamas is uh, holding hostages. Uh, we've proven time and time again that Hamas has no regard for human life. We've we, and, and, and this is precisely the reason we are at war, because they came in on the 7th of October. They abducted, butchered, massacred um, uh, over 1,200 Israelis and abducted 240 other people. The suggestion that we don't operate where Hamas is, is like saying, give up on these people. We are operating to create the conditions to bring home the hostages and to make sure Hamas does not have that power. Those conditions could be created through operational uh, capabilities based on intelligence to bring them home. We need to bring home the hostages. That is the moral, that is the right thing to do for the people of Israel, the, the Israelis that are being held hostage. Um, that is our obligation um, and, and that needs to be done. That is, that is just where we are at this stage of the war. We've said that Hamas cannot be given a free hand precisely because they can't be trusted. So why should we trust them with Rafa? Why should we trust them anywhere? They need to be sought out. They need to be eradicated. They need to be crushed. And the Israelis, the hostages, need to be brought home. Um, we could end this war tomorrow if Hamas unconditionally surrendered and released the hostages. There would be no need for a war. So those questioning or criticizing Israel for operating need to really ask themselves what they would do in a similar situation where they had hundreds of their citizens being held hostage and how they would conduct themselves and what restrictions they would put on themselves. We are operating within the laws of armed conflict. We're operating bases based on the goals of this war to make sure that the security situation is improved, to make sure that the uh, hostages are brought home and to make sure that Hamas never have the power of government again.